Hello Cancer, and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin, and today we're going to do your general reading, what you need to know, what's coming down, what my spirit guides or your spirit guides want to tell you. Before we get into the reading though, Cancer, I do want to mention that I'm doing a contest right now until the 22nd of November. So I'm giving away four free personal readings. How you enter if you're interested is like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and between the videos you watch now, between the sorry, the videos you watch now until the 22nd of November. So I'll be announcing the winners in the comment, or excuse me, the community section of this channel, but I will also be replying to your comment um, if you are selected as one of the winners. And I'll be picking four, so I'll be picking one per element cancer. So seeing that you're a water sign, I'll be picking a cancer, a Leo, or a, a cancer or a Leo, that doesn't make sense, a cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. So Let's get into your reading. If you want to enter, you know what to do. And if you don't, let's get into your reading. I hope it resonates and I hope you enjoy it. Cancer, look at this. Card number 39, new life. What is happening? All kinds of possibilities coming your way. Let's see what the cards want to say. What's happening with cancer? It looks like something brand spanking new is coming. Is it love? Is it singlehood? Is it fatherhood or motherhood? Is it moving? What's going on with cancer? What is this new life? Oh, dropped a card there. I'll have to grab that. We have the Five of Cups, Two of Swords, the Seven of Swords in reverse. What's going on for Cancer? Show us the cards, the world. What else we got for Cancer, please? In Cancer, it is a general reading, so not all of it will resonate. Please take what does and leave what doesn't, as always. So we have Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, the Five of Swords, the Ace of Wands in Reverse, and the Six of Wands in Reverse. And the overall vibe theme and energy is the Hermit in Reverse. So you're coming out of um, some kind of enlightenment or you're gaining enlightenment, but you're coming out of Hermit mode and you're ready to enter the world. Um, maybe you're coming, maybe you've been kind of isolating and getting through something here and you're about to emerge, you're about to emerge ready to enter a new cycle of your life let's find out what is this five of cups for cancer please okay so this is definitely about a relationship you're missing somebody or you have had been missing somebody um but ultimately that just became a burden worrying about that person thinking about that person it's a burden that you're ready to drop you're ready to remove past that person and that part of your life and move on to something different so the two of swords is in reverse which means you have not at the crossroads anymore that crossroads is done you're at the point where you've made the choice cancer to move forward the seven of swords in reverse is indicative that something i think this is within you've started to accept the situation for what it is you're seeing the situation for what it is you're seeing the truth maybe it's the truth about yourself it's the truth about that person i don't feel like a truth was exposed let's get some clarity i feel like you're having this realization within that to get this new cycle it's a really a choice that you need to make um, cause we have, yeah, that's really what it is. Um, it's up to you to make the choice. So you can have, what is the wheel of fortune in reverse? Why is this in reverse? Cause I feel, yeah, see, I feel like you want to clarify that or is what I'm, nope. <laughs> You're, you feel as if you have bad luck. You feel like things never go your way. You feel like things always go wrong. You feel like you don't get the attention you deserve. You don't get the credit you deserve. You don't get what you deserve. That's really how you feel um, or that's how you've been feeling and you're about to come out of that. But I have this sense that you're you've been isolating, kind of keeping to yourself, keeping your thoughts to yourself, maybe ready for this new cycle, but not ready to accept it. But something happens here in the next couple of weeks for you here, Cancer, and you start to have that realization within um, and make the choice. Really, the choice is up to you. If you want this new life, go get it. <laughs> but if you keep sitting here hoping for it, it's never going to happen. You got to go after it. Um, what is that? Yeah, the King of Rods. He goes after what he wants. <laughs> so go after what you're passionate about. Take control and um, things will change. That's the cycle will change for you. So let's get some advice from the Toro or from the Toro, huh, from the Oracle cards. Um, and then we'll find out where the situation stands in a month from now. But it looks like you're starting to realize that it's time to, to accept the situation for what it is cancer and just move forward. It's a new life, baby. There's no looking back, only looking ahead, you know? Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with, going with the flow 
instead of trying to force the river. So you got to go with the ebbs and flows of the universe. The only I feel like you're resisting, you're resisting this new start, but this new start is upon you, Cancer. This is a distraction for you. Let's find out what that is. What is a distraction for Cancer? This past person is a distraction for you. Yeah, block them. <laughs> block them from your life. Block them from your. I mean, you don't have to block them from your memory, but block them from your current, your present now. They're holding you back and preventing you from getting it, what it is that you want, Cancer. Um, and it's distracting you from, you know, being where you want to be. I really feel like, but I feel like you're going to accept it for what it is. You're going to have that kind of aha moment now and accept that and get this new beginning that is yours. All right. What does the energy oracle cards want to say to Kamsa? A man holding a coin, card number 43. So when one card comes out of this particular deck, the message is in the book. That's what I believe. So Cancer, let's get your message. Card number 43. Whoever this reading is for, here it is. For men, this card can indicate an aspect of yourself, a readiness to further your goals and increase your health, money, and value in life. Greater success is on its way when you take control of your finances and act. This card upright could also indicate the assistance of a financial advisor or healer whom you already know or soon to meet. This man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take. Be open to this person showing up with support, but always turn your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you receive. Absolutely. I think for some of you, it's going to be within. And for some of you, I think it's going to be someone that's going to come and help you. Help you get out of this um, old phase and into the new phase. Could just be a friend or a family member. All right. So what advice do the tarot have before we find out where the situation stands? Cancer, what do you want to say? So the nine of cups the Six of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Wands again. So if you want your ultimate happiness and your wish fulfillment, look how happy they are. You have to forget about those bad memories. You have to move the past, Cancer. I feel like, you know, like let's say says, if you're living in the past, you're depressed. If you're living in the future, you're anxious. But if you're living in the present, it's a gift. And I feel like you're definitely replaying the past and thinking about the past, but it is not going to make you happy. You need to start to work on yourself, work on the future that you want. Look at this, look at this bull. He's looking forward. He's looking right towards you. And he's going to say, cancer, <laughs> you need to work on what you want in life and forget about the past and accept it for what it is. The king of wands, he understands what he wants. He might have, um, like, look how proud this peacock is. Look how fiery he is, how passionate he is. He goes after what he wants. He sees something and he takes it and he can because he has the skills, the experience, and the intelligence, and the knowledge, and the passion to do so. And you do as well. You're just stuck in the past here. You're stuck on this past situation, this past person, this past history. You're stuck there, Cancer. So I hope that you can get out. Let's see what the tarot says. There's always free will. What is potential outcome in a month from now in this situation? Where's Cancer in a month? have four of wands the queen of swords the hermit judgment in reverse the star in reverse and the high priestess so you um you're trusting your intuition and you're letting your intuition guide you. Um, but I also feel like you still are keeping secrets and not fully accepting everything. So happiness is here. You're happy and you're celebrating. Um, but I feel like you're still feeling sad. Um, you're still kind of introspective, maybe introverted, maybe just staying home a lot. You still feel like there's unfinished business, like not everything is as it wants. You're still going through your healing, but ultimately the end of it is the high priestess. So your intuition is what you're going to let guide you and um, you're going to see, yeah, you're going to see yourself for what you are, for what the situation is, and you're going to use your strengths. But I still see you dwelling a little bit here in the future. I still see you kind of in hermit mode, not fully out there. So the cards are really telling you to accept and embrace these changes, Cancer. The only thing that's stopping you from getting everything that you want is you. And I'm sorry to be the one to say that, <laughs> but I think you already know that. Um, I do think you already know that. And I forgot your healing card. Hold on. 
what message, and we'll get your yes or no question too. So take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution. And Cancer, what's the answer to your question? Yes or no? The answer is yes. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Until next time.